Hi, my name is uh, Venkatesh Panchpagesan. I am an Associate Professor of Finance and I'm also the lead faculty for the newly set up IMB Century Real Estate Research Initiative. Uh, we started this initiative a few years back mainly to address a key gap in our economy which is getting scientific analysis and data on the Indian real estate sector. When I started my PhD in the early 90s, trading was mostly manual where buyers and sellers had to get together at a physical place to transact. Just in a span of one decade, trading has moved away from a floor-based system to a completely automated system where buyers and sellers now interact in cyberspace. So one consequence that has been of great interest to researchers is the ability of speed traders. What used to take several minutes for transacting now takes only milliseconds. Markets have tried to adopt different strategies to deal with this high frequency trading. Regulators are worried that some of this high frequency trading could actually result in destabilizing markets and therefore cause unintended consequences to the overall economy. Recent crises, both in the United States as well as in India, have forced regulators to come up with creative solutions to slow down these high frequency traders. Unlike the Western regulators, who are interested in actually doing first research before they implemented a solution, the Indian regulator, which is the Securities and Exchange Board of India, had actually gone ahead and implemented a, a regulation tax on these high frequency traders. What this tax does is, if a particular trader sends many orders and cancellations for one unit of trade, then they have to pay a higher fee. And this fee was meant to make it expensive for high frequency traders to transact in the marketplace. Whether this fee actually resulted in any slowdown or whether this slowdown actually resulted in any de deterioration of market quality is something that only researchers can find. I, along with a co-author of mine from Purdue University, Professor Shugato Chakravarti, we are undertaking the first study in India and actually the second study globally to look at the impact of this regulatory tax on the market quality. While the initial study which was done on the Italian market came with the conclusion that slowing down high frequency trading was not actually a good idea in the sense that it has actually resulted in increase of trading cost and also worsened the market quality. We in India are in a different situation. The regulation tax which was imposed initially actually resulted in increase of algorithmic trading or increase of this high frequency trading which was counterintuitive because the tax was meant to slow down the high frequency trading. So what we are trying to do is to first present the impact of high frequency trading on the Indian markets. The Indian markets had started seeing the, uh, the rapid usage of algorithmic trading uh, from almost 0% three, two to three years back to now it's 20% in, in, the, in the cash market and it's almost 50% in the derivatives market. So clearly the, the development of trading is going towards more and more of the speed traders. Whether we like it or not, we have to accept that. The question now is really whether the regulation can help prevent crises like what we have seen before where in a very short period of time prices can fall rapidly without any new information. That is the big question and, and we hope our research would be able to address that.